Hello lovelies, it's me. Um, today we've got a watch me work video. Now as I was recording this entire video I didn't realise that my light wasn't on my ring light. So the lighting is a bit funny and I do apologise for that. But if you don't want to watch the removal bit you can skip ahead to um, around 3 minutes 15 and then you will be on to prep. But basically these are my lovely mother's nails and she's had these on for quite a while now possibly four weeks which we don't usually leave it that long but things happen and things get in the way so we're just going to remove all of these the two with the with the glitter or the sequins on are going to be filed down a lot more than the others because they are very um they're going to be encapsulated again with glitter and a few little dried flowers so they're going to have to be taken down quite a lot you can see here i'm just removing some of the lifting um she always gets a pocket lift on the pointer finger and on the middle finger now pocket lift is always on the middle finger and the cuticle lift is always on the pointer finger um as it can be down to a number of reasons but she is in her work those are obviously the most used fingers out of everything so that is what we've put it down to we've tried different primers different gels and things like that and we still get the same issue so i always just suggest that she comes back after no longer than three weeks to have them redone but she doesn't All I'm going to do after this is I'm going to go in with my cuticle pusher and push back the skin around the nail bed. Um, it looks like I'm being really rough and harsh but I'm not, I'm not hurting her I promise. Um, it's just because it's sped up it makes it look like I'm being a bit heavy handed but I'm actually being very gentle and very nice to her. <laughs> And then after the cuticle push out, I'm going to go in with my little cuticle bit on my e-file <clears throat> and just get around all the edges, remove any of that orange colour that is left in the sides that I couldn't get to because this client has quite deep side wells, side walls, side wall, side wall, um, yeah, they're really quite deep. There's a lot of skin that falls up at the sides. Now this, this is the exact reason why I tell all of my clients, if you need to go to the toilet, please go before. <laughs> but my mother didn't and then she went to the toilet in between and because we'd removed the bulk, the little fingernail 
we got some lifting up here afterwards which is understandable but obviously if you can get them to go and do what they've got to do with beforehand and then that will prevent that but this is life and that's what happens so i'm just going to go in and dehydrate and prep not prep dehydrate and prime the nails i've used the kiki london primer because we are using the kiki london builder gel today um and i'm now going in with a thin coat of base coat i use the rubber base coat just because i think it works better with the builder gels but I would use the normal base coat if I was doing a pedicure. Even if I'm doing just a gel polish overlay, I would still use the rubber base coat. I just prefer it. I just think it adds that little bit of extra strength. Obviously, if your client's got really, really strong nails, then they probably don't need it. But it's definitely worth having or offering as an extra. Because it will make a big difference to a manicure. Right, so where are we? Right, we've done the base coat. Now I'm going to go in with Sweet Rose from Kiki London. This is their builder gel. It's like a pinky nude tone. And I'm just going to apply a really, really thin layer of this to the nails that are going to be encapsulated. Just so that that colour is all over the nail and it looks a bit more even. And I'm going to do the same on these nails. She already had this colour on last time so i didn't need to apply as much it was literally just filling the little gaps a bit and that's it and then on the rest of the nails i'm going to apply a nice amount and then take a bigger bead pop it by the cuticle push it up as close as i can and use a little brush or a fine liner whatever you want to use to manipulate the gel where you want it to go these gels are quite good to work with, to be honest. They, they're self-level nicely. If you've got a client that doesn't put the hand on the table flat, then you will have to be careful because sometimes people have a finger that will twist or um, anything like that. And if you don't check your work before you pop it in the lamp, it will be too late and it will leave you with a lot of filing to do. So do keep an eye on that. So these two nails are having a coat of base coat and then I'm going to pop on some textured hex mix that Shell sent me. She got these from Charlie's Nail Art. This is the lilac and the hot pink. I'm really sorry about the fact that you actually can't see a lot because I didn't turn the light on. Well, no, what I did was I did turn the light on, but I didn't actually check that it had come on. Um, and my son has had the plug adapter for the USB. <laughs> so I just flicked it on instinctively, naturally, and it hasn't come on and I didn't realise. So yeah, that's the lilac and the hot pink. And there is going to be a little bit of sugar plum, which is from the Spark Surprise UK um, VIP box that was... Marches, but
Right, sorry, I've skipped out a load here. Um, I forgot to press play or record again when I was um, when I was recording the filing and the buffing and things. Um, so all I'm doing now is I'm just going to paint the remaining nails with a pink from Miley My Gel. Let me just have a look in my drawer because I'm pretty sure that I forgot what it's called. It's called Pink Paradise and it's really, really beautiful. And considering she didn't want a bright pink, she ended up with a bright pink, which is what she does every time. I don't want a bright orange, I want just an orange. And then she comes and she has bright orange. And then she says, I don't want bright pink, I want pale pink. And then she has bright pink. So yeah, there we go. But this is coming towards the end of the set now and I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And if you enjoy watching the Watch Me Work, <coughs> excuse me, then please do let me know in the comments and I will try and record more and actually put the camera in the right position so you can actually see what I'm doing and I will put the light on. <laughs> and there's just a photo of the finished set guys and thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!